The 2022 Black Friday Cyber Monday chest is out. It's fully complete. They added every item that they're going to add to it. So here's my review of it. I've been asked oh, quite a bit what I think of it. Is it worth it? All that stuff. I get asked that for almost every chest and I need to make more of these videos. So here is my full thoughts on the whole chest. Let's go over it now. All right, first up, the actual art for the chest. Uh, I don't like it at all. It looks like it was taken from somewhere else and it I I yeah I don't I don't know I don't know why it looks like that it looks like a Dage like uh it looks like it should be at the March 10k chest for Dage's birthday it looks weird anyway uh, that's like a very tiny gripe though uh they they also said on Twitter that they have house items made for every 10k chest that they've ever made but they're not released in the game yet so uh hold your breath for that Maybe that, those will come out someday. House items for chests would be cool. There's a lot of cool looking house items. Or, or chests that could be cool house items. So hopefully we get those soon. Now, uh, today they actually added more items to chests after the midnight update today for Monday. I haven't seen them yet, but we will look at them in this video. I'm going to use the actual Quibble shop that has the AC price tags on everything. And instead of actually looking through the chest itself, because it's better to know what they're actually asking for them if you want to buy the items individually uh so you get a better idea of value and stuff like that for the chest so we're gonna do that but i do i have bought the chest so that probably tells you that i do kind of think personally it was worth it for myself but we'll go through all the items so we got blade here i it's got a cool animation on it I'm not too big of a fan of it this is cool, although I think that the actual animated version looks better. Much better. I wish there was a dual version of it. This thing's neat. Priced very high. Another reason why this is a new item they added today. This was not in here last night. So, <laughs> that's actually really sick. Wow, okay. So, you don't see swords that are, like, that big that often. So, it's cool to have a large sword in the game. That's a new item that I added today. <laughs> so I'm going to be seeing some new items going through this. But I already bought the chest. So I, I already think it's worth it. Got a green blade. Uh, yeah, not color custom. But oh, we got another one. But without the glow on it. That's pretty cool. I did not know they were going to add even more things today. Looks like you have a member variant. Oh, oh no, a smaller version. But it's also member. So yeah, all this stuff is in the 10k chest. Whether it's member or non-member. If you buy an actual 10k chest... You get everything that is in there. I think uh, pullout animations on weapons are useless. Kind of a waste of dev time to make a pullout animation for an AQ weapon. But uh, uh, CC on there, which is nice. Or glaives. I like glaives. Glaives are nice looking. These are cool. I don't know what the original of these are. If they're a recolor, but they are pretty neat looking. The weapon selection in this chest is not the greatest. Although they did add that new large sword today, which ups it a bit ups the weapon selection a bit you know adds a little bit to it but um that's far from the like worst thing like weapon selection in a lot of chests is never the greatest but it's not particularly good in this chest uh but one thing that is good is the armor selection look at that jesus there has to be one or two armors that you like in this because just just it looks like so it looks like you're scrolling through a bank how many armors are in this chest it's actually crazy and on top of the armors you get a class so if you've never purchased artifact hunter you can get this uh, by itself in the black friday war map uh but if you get the 10k chest it comes with artifact hunter if you want my full thoughts on the class itself artifact hunter check out the recent video i uploaded on that but uh, it, it could be a, a fun thing to have in the chest. And that, that's what I'll say about that. Uh, it's not particularly a great class for doing anything in the game. But it's a fun class. It's a fun thing to have. A little like, galaxy armor. Got the class armor. It's pink armor. And let's, let's go in the other room for this. Yeah, bubblegum pirate. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Male version of that looks pretty awful. <laughs> But it's usually usually how it goes. This one's all right. I like the broom shoulder stuff. Got the uh, member variant. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the shoes in on that one. I'm very nitpicky when it comes to armors. If, if 
this stuff looks cursed on uh, female characters, but male character, it's not bad, not bad, not bad for Carnage there. Not the bed. Uh, yeah, this one. Some people like that, but uh, not huge on that. This Dark Bandit is pretty slick, pretty slick. I get this. Even if you don't buy a 10k chest, you should buy this for 45k gold. That's a slick looking armor there. Although I like cowboy stuff more than some people might. But uh, one of the, the only uh, like unique uh, new sets is this one. The, at least I think this is new. I think. Am I wrong? I think it's new. There was a new armor added today to the chest that we'll get to. I saw on Twitter. I haven't actually seen the art of it yet. I've seen the name of it. And um, yeah, it, it threw me off that they actually added this to the chest. But there is an armor they added today to the chest that was previously a hero art item uh, that we'll, we'll see here coming up. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Uh, Falcon here. I'm going to preview that. We got like some Saphiria stuff in here, which is interesting, although you can't skin color or CC it. Not big on that. That dress looks nice. Nice looking one. This is, that's kind of a cursed armor. Suit's nice. I think that would look nice on male character as well. Drogo suit. That one's good. I think the original of that's white, so the black variant looks pretty good. This one's way too dark. Uh, just can't see any detail there. Rosie. This one's alright, it's alright, alright. Lovecaster X, 2k is C, way too expensive for an armor to buy individually. But uh, if you're getting the whole shebang, the whole 10k chest, it's a uh, it's pretty alright looking armor. I love the little details, like adding hearts and stuff to the pink items when they recolor them. Adding a little bit of extra uh, you know, effort into the recolor. Kind of wish they did that with the Jester here, like uh, replacing the... Like, they did add a heart and stuff to it, but replacing the... Uh, the plant or whatever the berry thing on the arm would have been nice uh kind of remove the christmas theme from the jester there jesters aren't just christmas c at all but anyway uh more nebula stuff this is just green version of the one before if you have city armors big old big old shoulders on that one big old shoulders uh Cetirion. and male variant looks better on that Oh, female on that one looks good. Cryo. There's so many cryo recolor. It must be an easy armor to recolor or something. I don't know why they've done so many recolors of this. It's, it's, probably, it's becoming like a um, like a naval commander at this point. How many recolors they've done of that. That's an interesting armor. <laughs> uh, pink. Elf punk. That's a good one. I'd pick this up for gold. Although it does cost a lot of gold. but I mean, a lot. Not really. Not really a lot. But, you know, more than some armors. That's a good one. Fire Dancer. All right, armor. All right. Uh, good price, too. Good price. Not expensive. Lightcaster. Good one. This is actually a Lightcaster. Well, the original variant of this armor was uh, an actual armor before the class was a thing. And you couldn't get the class with the original armor. You had to buy the other armor to get the class. Weird. Weird. Uh, but uh, anyway, another Sephiria thing. The weird um, gem on the... Yeah. This one's alright. Alright armor. Well, maybe a little too goth with the uh, boot thing there, whatever that is. Pink Falcon is sick and free, so definitely worth getting even if you don't get the chest. Uh, Victorian stuff, pretty alright, alright. Got the uh, suit, <laughs> like the pinstripe pants, cool stuff there. Werepire, which, which is great. Pirate Captain, nice as well. You got the uh, rugby armor. That looks really scuffed. I don't know if it looks scuffed on male. It looks kind of scuffed on male, but less scuffed. That's good. That's an old armor. I would imagine. Very old. You have a black version of the Arcanist. There's two different recolors of the same armor in the same chest. That is wild that they're doing that, but alright. Some like mech stuff. Boogeyman. That's a really good recolor. The original variant of this is white, so it's like a mirror version of it. Very cool. Male. I didn't know there was, there's a male version of Summer. I've never seen a male character wearing this armor. I didn't know a male version of it existed. There's something new I saw. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one, but you can't really see the detail in the actual dragon that's wrapped around you. So kind of lame there. Uh, some of the black recolors are just ruined by being uh, like by lacking like shading detail. 
which I don't say that often about shading, but anyway, usually shading is better with, with less detail, but when you can't even see the uh, thing that is shading, it's kind of rough. Don't know why there's like lights shooting on the arms on this one, but uh, if you get the full set of this armor, it actually looks pretty cool with the Neo Fiend stuff. Here's a new one. I haven't seen this yet. There's a there's a panda hoodie in this uh, in this 10k chest that was added today. A thousand thousand AC, huh? Pretty cheap. That looks so weird. That looks so, is it looks it looks weird. It's just all black. It it looks weird. It look, I mean, I still get it. Just the face is worth getting, to be honest. Penalty is the best face on it. One of the good reasons. I, I get this if I didn't have it. That was AC. That's definitely worth for that armor. It looks weird being all black, though. I don't know. Probably because I'm used to seeing it in the panda form, but... Yeah, that was added today. So if you have a 10k chest, pick that up. Uh, or if you want to buy it individually for 1k AC, there you go. Here is the item I suggested for the chest. A uh, pumpkin... Pumpkin Witch. Cool armor. Uh, there's supposed to be a new variant in here today. I haven't seen it yet, but there should be a variant without the uh, pumpkins on the shoulder. Straight jacket. Looking good. Looking good. This video is getting way too long at this point. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's Superior. Another variant of that. that this time a black variant. Swank Fell time. A a no shoulders. Nice. I have to get that out of 10k chest. Very cool armor. Love this armor. And there we go. Last armor there. Uh, let's go through the helmets. I wonder if they still have the uh, the non CCCC of the same helmet in the same chest, or if they took one of the. They probably didn't take it out. That was interesting to see. So I don't have too much to say about a lot of these helmets. Uh, some Nogas stuff so cool. So this one's CC uh, on the face. Let me check if it's CC. Yeah, it's color custom on the face, right? Cool. In the same chest, we're looking at a different item now. This is the desaturated skull of Nolgaf. Same price. We equip it on our face. It does not have color customizability of the face at all. You could achieve this color with the color customizable version of it. Two helmets, same price. One has the color customizable face, the other one does not. There's no other discernible difference. I don't know why they put the other one into the chest. It's just kind of weird. Anyway, moving on. We're like 11 minutes into the recording at this point. Uh, Bandit hat. These are cool. I Were these in here before? They probably were. I don't know. Cool hat. like that one too. So yeah, there are some neat hats in here. Hairstyle's nice. I've seen some people with that. Like your hair is like being blown through the wind. Uh, love caster halo. Some good stuff in here. Lion Fang. Well, I didn't see this in here uh, the other day. I have they added more stuff today, the, other than like the panda hoodie and stuff. They they might have, they might have added some stuff they forgot, or I don't know. Maybe I'm just maybe there's so many items in here I forgot they were in here. But I think this got added today as well. So yeah, there was some updates to it today. That hat's cool. It was that last night. There was definitely some stuff added today. It's definitely some new items here. Oh, they have the uh, the panda hoodie actual hoods as well for your character that are all black. 500 ACs. Those are pretty expensive, but probably worth grabbing. Now, that probably actually look good with the hoodie itself, too. Uh, that actually doesn't look that great. Oh, the like shoulder the uh, that uh, but yeah I never wear the actual hood with the hoodie anyway so not that big of a deal I probably still pick up the hoodie if you're getting the hoodie uh just to have it since it's rare so you don't have to item a donate in the future in case you want the hood for some reason maybe it'll match with something else but uh yeah another pumpkin hat the other top hats top hats are cool uh hair shading on that not so cool but anyway Grimlord Cloak got added. Cyber, it's not color custom, it's just green. Uh, yeah, kind of lame that it's just green, but is what that is. All right, let's uh, speed run through the rest of these cloaks. I've been here for too long. 
Alrighty, so I uh, got a cape. It's kind of cool, kind of cool design. That's actually a new item for this. And you got like the wings and stuff. Wings are pretty cool on there. Uh, you know, some other stuff here. I don't know what that is, but that's pretty neat. That is pretty good. Uh, yeah, a bunch of more green colors of the other stuff there. Seating wraps, pink fire, fire school. Uh, people really like the werepire wings. I kind of get why people like them, kind of overrated a little bit. These pink wings, kind of neat as well. A little too, too black on the black part there. Butt wings, uh, those are neat. Uh, yeah, so much more things. Recolors, recolors, there's like three, four recolors of that same cape in this. Uh, a new pet got added, Cyber Quibble, just plain cursed. Uh, just plain cursed. I think this is a new pet as well. That's okay. And uh, yeah, the other stuff in there as well. Let's get rid of that. Let's let's equip let's equip this one. Okay. Well, Quibble's larger than I thought. Well, that's the whole 10k chest. Uh, I do think it is worth getting. I did buy it myself personally. If you want my personal opinion on that, although it all just is cosmetic junk. Well. It's not all cosmetic junk. There is actually the class in there, which is 2K. See if you haven't bought, uh, if you don't have the original version of Artifact Hunter. So, could be some value there added to it if you don't have that class and you wanted Artifact Hunter. But uh, yeah, not the worst 10K chest. I I I don't I don't think anyone's gonna argue it's the worst 10K chest. But uh, is it my favorite 10K chest? I don't think so. But it might be my top 10. <laughs> Top five? I don't think it would be in the top five. Maybe. Maybe it would be. I, I'd have to think about that. It may be at the fifth spot. Maybe it might fight with another one for the fifth. I don't think it'd be in the top four. Anyway, uh, it's a pretty good chest. So pretty good. If you have the 10 KC and you want all the items, pick it up. Uh, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, but it's just cosmetic stuff, so you can make up your own mind. You don't have to just listen to my opinion, but there is my opinion. I do think it is worth it. IMO, someone that plays this game a lot, but uh, yeah, there's all my thoughts on the 10k chest. I went through every item in it, and uh, I think it's pretty cool that they added the panda hoodie to it. I thought we were going to get a pink version of the panda hoodie. I kind of want that more than the all black version. Eh, okay. Okay. Eh, eh. I'm going to have a... Okay, before we end the video here, people probably wanted to see me mold that they added a panda hoodie to a 10k chest when I have the hero mark version of it. Uh, so I will mold a little bit about it. Why? Why are the whatever pants, not not pants, but tights or whatever, why are they not black? If this is a Black Friday variant of a panda hoodie, why is the pants the same as the original, the exact same? Why are they not like black and gray instead of white and gray? Like why not make that black and this one gray, like the gray that's here? Why is it still white? Like the original pen. Why is this love the panda design? They just changed the one color of the white on the hoodie, and that is it. Why not go full full bore with it? Doesn't make any sense to me. I think they should change the art of this. I, yeah, I'm just gonna say it. I think it would look better if it was all black. If you're gonna do an all black panda hoodie, I'm just saying. All right. Well, that's my final thoughts on that. And uh, yeah, leave a like on the video if you like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'll see you in the next one. There'll be more content on the channel throughout the week and the month. Uh, so I'll see you for that stuff. Friday stream, Thursday news video, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, peace.